Welcome to another Arkansas Wild Man Survival. Cleaning up this little bitty young cauliflower mushroom to, to eat. And uh, it hadn't been up long. You can see it's a young it's young and it's gonna be good and tender. But uh, I'm gonna clean it up and show you how to fix it today. You know, in the times ahead, people's going to have to learn to supplement their food with these wild edibles, if you pour like me anyway. <laughs> so we're just going to take, we're going to cut that bottom part off. I'll finish, finish cleaning when I get my fire going to uh, first you gotta you gotta dry this mushroom out you gotta get some of the moisture out so let us uh, get us our fire going and I'll show you one way to cook this mushroom that is absolutely del delicious I was driving to the mountains today. My light come on low tire. So I had to travel back to where I come from to the store to get air because it's the only station that sells gas and has air within oh I say 28 mile 30 mile radius. So I wasn't too far. Sometimes I drive 40 miles up the mountains looking for mushrooms to do videos on. You know, YouTube is, it, it, it costs you money to, to, to make money, as the old saying goes. And uh, sometimes I have to travel a good way to find these locations to do my videos, to find the mushrooms. And, uh, and everything and uh, so it, it's it's work and to share this these skills and knowledge you know it's uh, I do it a labor out of love because it sure ain't for the money because I don't make enough even though I do get love donations from a church in the wild woods sometimes sometimes I might get a Somebody might send me a hundred bucks, they might send me twenty bucks, and I appreciate each and every one of you that do. But uh, that's not very often. But like I say, I, I, I enjoy what I'm doing. And I have a heart for people, and even though I'm not a people person. I know there's hard times are coming. And people's going to have to learn these skills. Although some of them, the new generation, they'd rather starve to death, I think, than eat some of these wild edibles that our ancestors has ate. Ground's wet there. We had a good rain. I thought... That fat wood ought to light right up. It's taking a little. There we got it. I just did. May have to light the whole thing on there. <sighs> 
and hope it don't burn out because I don't edit my videos what you see is what you get Skillet hot. So we're going to take this mushroom. We're going to try to dry it out a little bit. Cook some of the moisture out. It's beautiful and it has the consistency of noodles when cooked. Save some of it for the house. And see, you gotta look for little snails. See that little snail? They like eating on them. But we're gonna let that dry out. You can finally hear it. Gonna have some barbecue chicken to go with it. But yeah, I was up in the mountains and my, my light come on and I got to looking and I got water showing through my tar. So if I do any foraging it'd probably have to be closer to closer to home till I can afford to get me another tar. That's what I'm saying. Being a YouTuber it's it's not all fun and games. I mean, there, there's work to it and expenses. For those that don't create, you know, to know that. Now, since we've dried that out a little bit, we're going to take us a little bit of butter. I'll take that and buddy. I'll let you look at it while it's cooking. That is a delicious mushroom, by the way, the cauliflower mushroom. saute this baby up a little then we're going to add some bacon and cream of mushroom or cream of chicken I mean and you talking about a good meal I'll take that real good. And that butter. We'll take 
bigger paper plate. It's trying to blow away. Now we're going to add our bacon. Just got through doing church in the wild woods. Y'all make sure y'all turn in tomorrow at uh, 9.45. Christmas up some bacon. I'm going to let that play while I go get my can of cream of chicken. I forgot it. Okay, well, man, it's back. Creamy chicken.
There's our sauteed mushroom. And I save this much of it to cook it to half. I was going to go do some more foraging videos, and, but uh, since my tar light come on, I decided to, I better stick close to the civilization and and uh, not too far from the house. I'm still about, I guess, 25 miles from home, but this old river feels like home to me. My grandfather passed away right over there fishing. He said uh, he wanted to go home. He wanted to, when he went home, he wanted to either go on the river bank or out of hunting. So he got his wish. He passed away right over there with a fishing pole in his hand. I think he was up close to his 80s. So, uh, he'd lived a good life. I gotta try a piece of this barbecue chicken. I've been smelling this all along. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's some good stuff. Get her baking good and crispy. Let a little air get to her fire. Jack it up on one side more than other. That's sure gonna be good.
couple of bacon good and crispy. We'll pause it for a little bit. Our bacon's just about ready. Put our bacon over here with our mushroom because we're going to crumble it up. My forks are melting. <laughs> Should have brought a spoon. Wild man was a little unfulfilled. There's our bacon and mushroom. Now we're going to take our grease. We're going to take our cream of mushroom. Or cream of chicken. Mushroom, or our bacon. Whew, our bacon's a little hot still. Take our mushroom, put it in there. Crunch it up in here. Let you see what that looks like right now. What to do in my fork. I know I had my fork. Here it is. I'm going to take mix all that together. Now, I've never tried it with cream of chicken, but I've tried it with cream of mushroom, and it is delicious. I'm sure it will be with cream of chicken. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that's good, folks. There's our cauliflower mushroom. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And that's how you fix the cauliflower mushroom. Wild man style. God bless you.
and thanks for watching.